Well, uh, still missing Quack on Roll20, but whatever. Welcome back, friends. It's been a while. Yeah. Been what, a month? Uh, we missed one session, yeah. Very long walk rest? Yes. You guys got back to the end and the walk rest of at the end of our last session. Does anybody remember what happened last time? <laughs> I already told you I don't. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's been a hectic past couple of weeks. I do vaguely remember uh, the giant that's making that made great weapons is making us improvise weapons? I don't remember exactly. So the session before last was you got the blood from the big giant guy, right? And then he fucked off. And then you did the compound where you didn't follow the plan at all and you just killed everyone you long rested after that and then you went up and you found another warlord's nest uh killed everything in there almost had one person die had one person get turned to stone oh, and yes. then you went northeast up to the buried pyramid where you went down in there, explored one wing, found the treasure, and set off the trap and then left. And now you have a bunch of war machines, uh, an Oni, which is a, like an ogre, but Japanese, who is fixing or enhancing Rhea's greatsword. And then you guys ended the session getting back to the tavern. Resting. And we killed a Medusa. You did kill the Infernal Medusa. Everyone, long rest to get all your hit points and your spells and everything back. Mm -hmm. And you have to figure out what you're gonna do this time. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just rolling to get it out of the way. It's become a habit. <laughs> Yeah, it's literally gonna happen. Test roll. Yeah, it's gonna be a day. <clears throat> We're going back to the market so we can sell everything. Lighten our load a little bit.
get, um, I'm doing it's anything good. after? We need to see the positions. We need to save the pony. Yeah. Uh, onward adventure. Onwards and upwards. Yes. So, do we want to save the unicorn and then go sell everything? I think it would be on the way. <clears throat> so, it might be best. Everyone's in agreement. I agree. As do I. Do you remember where the unicorn was? Pull up the handy dandy map. What's your path? We want to save the unicorn. Okay. And if memory so, serves, it's in one of these two. Uh, we probably don't want to go south because that's where the. Uh, that's where Tasha is. Maybe, we don't maybe. go where Tasha okay. is. East. Uh, remember, this is where you found that weird green guy who told you how to make your homunculi. Yes. And south or southeast? Uh, south. I thought south. <clears throat> I'm fine with that. Okay. This is. Where the pyramid is poking out of the sand. Oh yeah, that's right. Go northeast. This is you see the tall metal uh apparatus with the unicorn inside. Hey! Let's save this unicorn. Do we just like run up and trade with it? Is it Ral Zala? Right. Ral Zala, yep, Badal.
As you drive up, the Tao uh, rises from the sand of the Avernian Waste. An eager gleam in her eye. Have you brought the blood? Yeah, we have it right here. Give it to me. Can I just like toss it at you or like? Yes. Yes, please. Should I just like open it? Just throw the blood on you? Is it like a shower? <laughs> I must drink it. So, like, should I walk over and, like, pour it in your mouth? Just, just give it to my hand, please. <laughs> just, just reaching out. Do you hands it over? And just greedily just tosses back the blood. They makes a very slightly disgusting look. Refreshing. Mm, yes, much better. Free the unicorn. Yes, well, you can do that. I uh, won't stop you anymore. Correct members. He was trying to rip the Nirvana and Cog box out of it when the Dow stopped it. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Dude, would you like to do the honors of killing the fox? <laughs> what? Who saved the unicorn? Do you want to do the honors? Sure! He walks over to go grab the box. You gotta like climb up the yeah the yeah thing. yeah okay yeah um kind of role should I make you athletics this, um no you can climb it pretty easily it's got a lot of things I'm thinking about what you should roll to try and unhook a cog box that you have no idea how it works. Uh, let's go with sleight of hand. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, as you are removing the cog box, the entire contraption uh, shudders, and all the energy just arcs back in, and you've killed the unicorn. No. You're kidding. Uh, no. Oh. My poor unicorn. Cross, pray to your god. Um, so now <laughs> there's like a sizzling husk of burnt flesh inside the co- inside the uh, oh. sphere of Duke didn't even get the cog box. Metal. Uh, and, but you've got the cog box. All right. Duke is in pure shock. So is the unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shock. Uh, well, I, I call her up to Duke to tell it to at least get the horn off the unicorn. If it's not too charred. Duke doesn't want to touch it. And uh, as Duke's climbing back down. Uh, the contraption just opens and just like there's this wet meaty slap sound as it uh, the unicorn corpse just falls to the earth. Poor unicorn. Can Crust get the horn off the unicorn? Go for it. Um, roll me a survival to see if you can get it all out of there. Alright. 
Oh yeah, you got you got a full unicorn horn. It's um it's got a little bit of like soot on it. What are you gonna do? Make a wand with it? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's a unicorn horn. It's gotta be more salt, right? I feel really bad now. <laughs> you feel bad! <laughs> Our cat just doesn't like unicorns, I guess. The, um... The owl, like, it shows, well, that could have gone better. Um... But, you know, seeing as you've... made a move against Zariel, I think you should, I should probably introduce you to Belle, her primary rival down here. Bell? And, uh... Bell, B-E-L, the former... Uh, Archdevil of this plane of hell, supplanted by Zariel herself. Huh. So I will, as she says that, write you a letter of introduction. This pulls out, like, summons a black sheet of stone from out of the sand and just starts scrawling and flowing script on it. She goes, and she hands it to you guys. It's like, this is a letter of introduction. So. If you walk up to him, he won't just kill you immediately. Like I did unicorn? Yeah, like that. takes it, trying not to cry. <laughs> Trembling hands, I'm sure. Um. Faye, mm -hmm. make a perception roll. A perception? Yep. Perception. I have terrible perception. Why would you ask that of me? Okay. And an arcana? <laughs> that one I can do with. No! Oh. <laughs> Um, you notice that the vial that contained the blood um, has some kind of arcane energies flowing off of it. It's just sitting in the sand as the Dao tossed it after drinking the blood. I want to pick it up. Okay. Empty vial of Titan blood. Uh, sure, you can write it like that. I'll inspect it later. Uh, maybe it's just like on the way to the shop or something. Um, well, that was very um, disastrous. If they had pupils. Her eyes would just be like wide. Like, what the fuck happened? And uh, the Dow just sinks into the sand and disappears. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? crying and does not want the shiny. Oh. I think at that point Faye would give Duke a hug. Duke just accepts it. He is literally distraught. Uh, yeah, just the uh, unfortunate roll. Very, very sad. Shot is Rhea. Uh, just in shock, really. Just like 
both with the fact that the unicorn's dead and that Crust mutilated its corpse. Oh, yeah. I would be too, honestly. <laughs> Definitely. Well, gotta make the best of it. Uh, we we uh, we're gonna get rid of some of these uh, extra vehicles we have here. You know, probably the, the next plan. It's either that, or we go fight the hag. If we can try to find her. We killed her. We did that, didn't we? <laughs> yep. We're just mass hag. murderers at this point. You, you guys have three of the four pieces for the dream machine. So we need to find sand, and we need to sell some of these rides. Yeah. Get rid of them, either way. I wonder if the market could have some. Awesome. Does anybody remember which way the market was? Yes! Duke, do you want to sit in... One of the big machines? It's more nodes over here! I don't want to send in anything! I just want to go! These three, so let's, uh, let's explore some new territory on our way there. No! I don't want to explore! I can find uh, something to make Duke happy. Duke doesn't care anymore. He's literally going to go back to his motorcycle quietly and just cry. <laughs> Kraska boots, we go northeast. Anybody uh, else want to do that or not? I think we're all mortified. <laughs> Besides Kraska. <Right. laughs> I think we're just gonna follow. Uh, Crust can take one today. I can barely do it today, oh my god. Crust completely abandoned a horse, so... Alright, we're going to the way. Where are you going? East, okay. Or northeast. As you guys are driving along, uh, you hear a loud uh, nose horn thing from Lulu. As you look back, um, some Hellwaffs have grabbed her from the back of your ride and are starting to fly off with her. Some what? Some what Hell Hellwasps. Well, uh... Attack! Can I, uh, ready, or try to throw a shock javelin at the hell wasps? Uh, sure. I imagine right. missile. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you hit with a shock javelin, you deal 13 damage. Uh, the Hell Wasp does not let go of Lulu. I guess I'm gonna try and crossbow them. Do we need initiative? Uh, no, you guys all get one round to try and kill the one before it gets away. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, magic missiles then. And I also yell at, uh... I missed the Hell Wasp. With the yeah. spell. Uh, magic missile deals 12 damage, so you get 25. <clears throat> How far away is it? Uh, like 40 feet. So no, hold on, do this, okay. That's fine. I'm 
Rider do anything? Uh, uh, shot shot throw a shot, Javelin. Yeah. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention the um the Oni gave Rhea back the sword as you guys were leaving the end. Okay. Does sixteen hit? Uh, it does not. No, they're gone. They've oh. flown off towards a nest. With Lulu and Toe. With Lulu and Toe, yeah. Oh, fuck. So, uh, we definitely want to follow the wasps. Yep, Which let's way go. did they go? <clears throat> um, they're We're gonna be the... follow the butterflies! Sorry. They're in the same hex as you guys. So, we're, we're literally following the wasps as quickly as possible. Yep. I need to quickly put together this map. Lost Lulu made a unicorn. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna need like 15 probably okay. for this one. We'll be back in 15 minutes, friends. <clears throat> 15 more minutes of the book that I just started yesterday and I'm almost done with. <laughs> no, I left that one at work, so I can't read it right now. I just started this. Uh, Crave series. I don't know if anyone knows what that series is. Yeah, I'm almost done. I started yesterday. Yeah, right? <laughs> when I get into books, I get into books. It's crazy.
I think she's just using the restroom. All right, I put it on the live screen, so we're back. I put my book back down. <clears throat> Okay, sorry. Okay. Right, so following the sound of the buzzing direction the wasps went you spot a gigantic sack of wet papery material floating high above the surface of hell angelic figures with feathery wings are stuck to its surface like flies in amber oh uh their bodies struggling futilely but underneath layers of gunk iron chains at the bottom of the structure tether it to the hellish landscape Angelic figures still alive, or are they dead? Uh, some appear alive, some are very much dead. Cool. <clears throat> well, uh, we gotta definitely get Lulu out and maybe uh, try to save some of these angels. Huh? Yes. Or angelic things. I could probably just end up killing them too! That'd be alright. Oh, just don't. Just try not to kill Lulu, you know? Yeah. Well, how do you guys intend to get up there? Is there any way to climb up? Yeah, I think you might be able to climb the chains that are tethering it to the surface. Probably our best bet, unless there's something there preventing us from doing we that. We still have these, like, fly potions, don't we? I think we should save those. Alright. What are our other options? So let's, let's sink us out for a second. How high up is it? Tell roughly how high up it is. Oh, the, the heavy chains tether the nest a hundred feet above the surface. Very high up. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say climb the chains. I agree. I'm gonna pat Duke on the head. Kreska um, Ryder, do you want to go first? Yeah, Kreska summons the Echo 30 feet up the chain and now uh, swaps places, then dis dismisses the Echo and summons it 30 feet higher. Wow. And then, uh, kind of waits for people to catch up. I, I guess I'll go directly behind him. <laughs> I don't I, uh, actually I climbing. I just plan on swapping the whole way up as people keep up. I'll, uh, yeah, I don't do that. I actually climb. I'll uh, start climbing as well. Trying to put these muscles to use. Duke's gonna climb dejectedly. <laughs> At least Duke has a future in the smoothie business. Oh my god. Do we need to roll anything? 
anything? Nope. The chains are quite large. And have ample handholds. It's like a very long ladder. Okay. Right, so you all manage to climb the chain into the nest. I would assume Rhea is taken up behind Duke. Yeah. <clears throat> Do we see any sign of Lulu? You see no sign of Lulu. This lair seems to be a refuse lair. Look at this massive map. you see it? Nope. Just a big old circle. Can we tell the next way up? Is it like through the sack thing? There um appears to be no way up that you can actually see, but the floor is very uh is thin enough for you to climb up the poles and cut your way up. Is it like wasp nest-ish material? Yeah, it's like very papery. Okay. So you can literally just poke a stick right through it and make a hole. <clears throat> oh, actually, you're very right. Those, uh, those gaps are tunnels. Oh, that's things. even better. You can just climb up. But they kind of weave through the thing. I'm gonna look up this one to see if I see anything. Uh, it, it curves and you can't see. Do I hear anything? You hear the buzz of large wings. I don't like this, guys. Duke doesn't stop. He just keeps going quietly. <laughs> You've broken him. Unfortunate. I guess we'll start making our way up. You want to climb that one? Real join you. Okay. Anyone else following? Uh, Chris is probably following me. You, do you need to go with Duke up that one? Yeah, I think I'll be next to them. Oh, I'm following Duke, yeah. And are you guys waiting for Ryder to pick a fucking tunnel? Ryder, go to that you one just... over there. Go. <laughs> oh, we're splitting up hard. Huh? It's assumed that they all go to the same levels. I will they go did. To this one. All right. You go over here. You what? Go over here. And then Ryder goes. Oh shit! We're in a bad spot, right? Over here. Oh, we fucked up. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we need to roll initiative, or have we noticed this? Oh yeah, that's initiative. Hey, okay. fuck up. Nah, we're good. Finally, some action. It's okay, Ryder's over there. Ryder's kind of far. Um. <laughs> Clicking cross controls. this. Oh, is it doing it again? It's doing it again. Oh no. Did it quick? Is it not five? Duke did not roll. Nineteen fate, not one. Okay, as right, everyone's roll still up there. Yes. Okay. 
I don't see Rhea though. Put that up all over your head. Yeah. Ryder gets to start us off. What? I'm joking on a popper. Hang on. Okay. I'm going to this one. Sure. Are they in melee range or are they flying? They are hovering above the ground, so they're okay. in melee range. That's it. Uh, you notice that this one you've just hit already has a sh shocking javelin impaled in it. Oh, nice. This is the one I speared. Uh, he didn't spear any of them. Trust did. All right. <laughs> um, I will, uh, I will attack then. That uh, is a miss. Cool, cool. And that ends my job. Okay. Uh, it is going to hit you back. Possibly. Uh, multi attack, one stinger, one with sword talents. Probably a hit. It is. Uh, and that is a miss. Yes. Did uh, need a constitution saving throw. Good save. Uh, you take. Seven piercing and. Uh, six fire, but that's half because of your shield, so three fire. So ten damage total. All right. And it is Faye's turn. Cool. I want to cast Confusion. Uh, ten foot radius would be twenty foot diameter. Yes. So that would be correct? Uh, yes. Size wise? Okay. And I definitely wanted to hit both of these, so. Right there ish. Yeah. Uh, dip, uh, wisdom saving throw. So they both fail. Both confused. So at the start 
of their turn, they roll a d10 to decide what they do. And at the end of their turn, they can make another saving throw. Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to take a couple steps back, because that's just how I am. Some some good, smart choice. (laughs) All right, I end... Meeny, meeny, money, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. Attack the duke because it's sad. That's just the way I roll. He's just accepting it. He deserves this. Oh, duke. Um, Binger misses Sortel and... What's your AC? Uh, 18. Okay, misses. Kresk is up. So those are confused. I think Krusk's gonna... Krusk's gonna move clear around. Echo's gonna move... Man, I can't see. It's so worse. <laughs> Echo's just gonna kind of stay right next to Duke. And we're going to... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just smash on this thing right here. Okay. We're gonna... Use an unleash. We're, we're, just, we're just gonna really uh, test out how it is, and homunculus is going to bite as well. There we go. Once I, yeah. That's pain. Uh, hit miss, hit miss. These things are fiends, so. I take the radiant damage. So you did 18 plus 22. Sure. So 40 damage. That is an insane roll for the second. Yeah, I mean, you rolled four. And double ones for damage. Uh, I, I, I think that's it. I don't think we're going to expend anything else unless they seem more threatening. Okay. Uh, roll a d10. Hmm. What's an 8? So, 7 and 8, the creature uses its action to make a melee attack against a randomly determined creature within its reach. If there's no creature within its reach, the creature does nothing this turn. All right. Maybe we got Duke's turn. I'm gonna stab it. But with the most pitiful stab sounds. Poor Duke. He's gonna need therapy. Yeah, Duke kills it. You're really on a roll today, Duke. I like it. I'm a murder man. I thought we already knew that. They can't uh, see Duke, so she has no idea. She can just hear the awful sounds. Is Duke gonna move? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Moving on, this one is also confused. Yes. Oh, I forgot to roll that through. Oh. Their save at the end of their turn. That's another eight. It has nothing in range. Um, I forgot to do their DC. Their so hand. do both saves, wisdom saves. Uh, fail 16. on the first one, fail on the second one. All right. I'm buzzled. Uh, Rhea is going to. Can they use reactions? Can they? An affected target can't take reactions. Okay, cool. We're just gonna fucking walk right past it then. And attack. Oh, I forgot to write slashing damage. Uh, and attack. 
Uh, missed both of them. Damn. Um, how does that work? Does she become confused? No, it just it's the in the area, okay. right? Yeah. It's just the area the one that the initial spell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Ryder, you're up. Sweet. I'm gonna attack the U one in front of me again. Miss. Hit. Hooray. You killed it. Yay. Would you like to move? Don't see me. Is it that was the last one, right? No, there's two. Oh, okay. It's behind that pillar. I can't see it. Um, there's I guess two. I yeah. will move. Here should be 30. Let me double check. And that's 30. 30. Yeah. Because diagonal movement is cool. Yeah, but it should be. All right. Is the end of my turn? Then phase up. I'm gonna firebolt this one. The close one? Yep. That's a miss. Damn. That's it from me, y'all. I'm still Kreska. concentrating. Alright, Kreska. I'm gonna move up. Okay. Where did you I go? Yeeted, I yeeted Krusk. <laughs> I clicked and it fucking just slung it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fixing the fields? I, I did. Alright. Yeah. And uh, Echo moves up. And uh, Chris is just gonna double tap that. And uh, Home of Fields is gonna try to fight it. Uh, everything hits. Murder! So, to, uh, succeed a DC 10 constitution savings there. Or be poisoned for one minute. And 39? No, yes. Uh, and... Had four year old aggro. What, what, what was said? Nothing. Uh, wait, no, that's not right. The uh, six. So it fails, so it's poisoned. So it's unconscious while poisoned. No. Huh? Yeah, and if uh, ail the segment throw by five or more to be unconscious while poisoned. It's just poisoned. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh that's it. I'm not using anything else. Alright, uh confusion. What's a two, Jenna? A two Two to six, the creature doesn't move or take actions this turn. All right. It needs to make a wisdom save, though. Uh, it succeeded the wisdom save now. So now I can do stuff next turn. Yep. And Duke is up. Okay. I'm gonna stab this one too. Mm 
25 damage. Movement. Is he dead? No. Nope. And I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Confusion. Uh, A 10. It gets to do its own things, right? Future can move normally at the end of the turn. It does a wisdom save. So it's gonna attack Krisk. Uh, 27's hit. That's a crit. Oh my. It is. <sighs> it's Talon's rake you for 16 damage. It succeeds its wisdom save. Okay. So they are no It rolled a double. Wow. I think it rolled good. Look at that All right. And now it's Rhea's turn. She's going to try and attack again. Uh, she hits once. So it's 16 damage. And Rider's up. I'm gonna move here and attack this guy. Miss. That's also a miss. <laughs> uh, roll a d20. Or McQuack. Alright, moving on. You're up, Faye. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Firebolt. Close to me. No, I'm not. No, you're not. Oh, no. Do I need to roll a d20? Uh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> That's fine. I don't get and... anyone in the face. All right, I am Kresk is up. There, I'm gonna do the first attack on that one. Hold the second attack for a second. You killed it. And, uh, Echo's gonna hit the other one. And you killed it. Double kill. No signs of uh, Lulu. You guys do not see Lulu here. And uh, Kresk is digging through the corpses to see if he finds anything. You got uh, that javelin. The Hellas corpses. Yeah, and I, I'm going to automatically recover javelins as normal. Uh, this level is honeycombed with octagonal cells crafted by the Hellwolves from a uh, regurgitated mulch of bone, sand, and fat. <laughs> that makes me want to vomit. I belong here! No, you don't, Duke. It was an accident. find anything you said? Nope, nothing uh, to find here. Can we tell uh, any... You said no sign of Lulu? No sign of Lulu. Can we see any angels or anything in the area? Uh, nope. Can we discern any way up? Or is it just like the same the, tunnels? The same tunnels lead up as well. Alright, so uh, same thing, guys. Duke just picks one and goes. <laughs> okay. I will 
go with these guys and jump down. You're starting us off. Really unfortunate I can't see. <laughs> I'm just gonna stab it. That's a critical stab. Sounds like critical too. And where's the sneak attack? There it is. Still not using my bat fang dagger. Fuck, I forgot it's there. So, 32 plus, that's 41. It's a good hit. Stay in bat, stay in put, or fancy footwork. Oh, he's alive? Yeah, it's still if alive. If he's alive, I'm leaving. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm actually going to stay here. Oh, okay. And riders up. I'm gonna jump on this guy. I assume that's a miss. Yep. That's a hit. Woohoo! Singer at Ryder and Luke Talons at Rhea. Right, Ryder gets stung. We get a constitution saving throw. Uh, that's a fail. Uh oh. Uh, you are poisoned Yay. and paralyzed. I just want one session where I'm not like a pin cushion for something. <laughs> just like one, right? You chose the wrong class. <laughs> like every session, some kind of debilitating thing. Um, so, um, how do I not have superpowers yet? I don't know. Uh, it's seven piercing and half this, and two fire. Woohoo! Up is hmm. It's so I'm just gonna fly over Duke. And Duke has an 18 AC, so the stinger hits Duke, so I need a deck save. 
or sorry, it was a con save. Cool. I'm gonna let it slide because I said the wrong thing. Uh, so you take 15 damage and are not poisoned. Uncanny dodge. So I take eight damage. Okay. Right. And Krusk is up. Okay, uh, well, I can see this guy in the sky, so, uh, can't really tell who's fighting who. Krusk just goes this way, and hits. he's gonna just, uh, upload on this guy with another leash and a bite. One Heaven's Fall misses, the rest hits, so uh, let's just do the con save real quick. That saves, it's not poisoned. It still takes... A lot of damage. 42 damage. And it's living. Uh, 40 Three damage. Yeah, it's still alive. Uh, and can I make it move five feet this way? Or is uh, it too big? I don't know what your thing says. Crusher. Yeah, read it for me. I just linked it for you. Oh, okay. Uh, one slide. Yeah, you can move it. And I end my turn. Right, uh, Duke's going to get attacked. The talons hit you this time. All right. But... No, that's not right. Uh, you take eight damage. Ow. And this one's gonna come in and attack Krusk. Neither of those hit. Fair, you're up. I want a twin of Fireball. Is that possible? Yes. One on this guy and one on that guy. Okay. Uh, your first one misses. Your second one hits, but uh, does no damage. Yell maybe that they're resistant to fire. All right, Duke is up. Okay. I need to buy all of your river. This one. Okay. Uh, your sneak attack damage. It's dead. Good. And now, what does my bad thing do? Your bad th bad thing? It increases mm -hmm. your sneak attack damage by an extra 2d6. Uh, but it's necrotic. necrotic. Yeah. So just add like a second damage type to sneak attack. I mean, it's already dead, but I thought it also didn't it give me. It heals you. Yeah. 
or it gives you 10 pit points. I don't have that part of it. Ah, I see. The rogue gains the amount of hit points equal to the necrotic damage dealt. It doesn't say temp. It, it's not temp. You're right. Uh, so I have to roll the sneak attack so I know how much I heal. Yeah, roll So a, I need to roll 2d6. 2d6. <laughs> okay, that's it. All right, Ryder. Some people say they're vampire bats, but here they're vampire cats. I I hate you. So what do I have to roll to not be paralyzed? Uh, you have to roll Constitution saving throw DC 12. These happen at the end of your turn, so that's just your turn. Yeah, you're not paralyzed. Congratulations. Uh, but that's your turn. Yeah. Alright, Rhea. Ooh. Uh... Mm. Oh no. Alright. Uh, we got one hit, so that's good. Uh, that kills it, though. Uh, fun fact, uh, Rhea's sword, if she rolls a critical fail, uh, so like a one and a one, her sword shatters. Oh shit. <laughs> That's a no bueno. She's going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. And we're going to attack Duke. Uh, Stinger hits Duke. Duke, I need, a, I need a con save. Nice. Uh, the... No. Yeah, D8 plus 4. Uh, 16 damage. 8 damage. 8 damage. And it's Kresk's turn. Alright. Uh, well, Kresk is going to obviously hit the first one right here. Here's the first hit. Kills it. Okay. Nope. Alright, so the only other one I can see. I can barely make it to it. Right there. Right there. And I hit it. I can hit this one. Yeah. And the homunculus bites that one as well. Uh. Sorry. You miss both of those. Uh, sorry, Duke. Try. Faye, you're up. Um. Can I Cairo splash it without hitting anybody else? Yes. Do that. It fails. Yay! It takes six damage. Six? Yep. It takes extra cold damage. Cool. Uh, I believe it's Duke's turn now. I'm gonna turn around and stab it. 
Yeah, you do. Oh, that sneak attack. Still haven't enhanced your sneak attack. Well, I figure I, I would roll it separately because so I only know how much I'm rolling for the healing. So if you rad the secondary damage, it rolls it like your radiant does on your second thing on your sunblade. Ah. Understood. So it's 16 plus 15. So 31. Uh, never mind, 37. I already have it built in. You just Hold didn't. on, I'm just gonna try it, see if it actually works. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could do it that way. I assumed you'd roll it into the sneak attack, which it's attached to. Fair. Hold on. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, also, what does your piercer talent do again? Feeding you again? Once per turn, when you hit a creature that deals piercing damage, you can reroll one of the attack may seem as feeding you guys if I roll a one. You bet, I rolled the one. damage. Still not dead, though. Uh, you can sit there. You can move back. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here. Okay. Ryder, you're up. I'm gonna move. I like three more squares. Nice. Javelin or not? Um, can I reach it from there without hitting Krusk? Yes. Then Krusk yes. Asks is partial cover, though. That hits. Noise, you killed it. Sweet. Alright. I'm assuming because we haven't heard anything else. Besides a little bit here. Ignoring what's on this level, okay. Uh, is there anything around first? Just see if um, there's any angels or if there's any. There are angel carcasses in the walls. Are they all dead? <laughs> yes, they're carcasses. <laughs> as well as the dead bugs uh, that announcing mm. what he finds. Okay, so you have to like cut into the wall to get at the carcasses. Definitely doing that. Okay. Uh, as you cut into the wall, um... Oh boy. Uh, six hell wasp water bay. Grubs, uh, pop out Curse of the wall. A reroll. I should have again. 
uh, unfortunately, yeah. <sighs> All right, sorry guys. Right back in the call pad. Where would I be at? I'm assuming I moved a little bit because I'm not against the wall. Like right here. Uh, I was thinking right there. All right. I just need to grab a fucking grub. Here is initiative. I forget if this this will work as a token. Uh, don't mind that it's going to look massive. Those are nasty looking. I love that they're token shaped though. Very nice roll. Thank you. All right, Red, are you up? You killed it with your first hit. Fuck yeah. Uh, I'm done. Okay, Rhea. I don't know if she can actually get up there. Uh, not really. So just gonna move here. I'm just gonna do one of these. Uh. Deck save. That's an unfortunate save. Yeah, uh, Chris gets a bit. You get a bit what? You get a bit? No, you didn't get bit. Uh, let's try the next one. That's no bite. Okay, you're up. Um, um, <laughs> I splash these two. Yep. Fails. You kill both of them. Fight again. Miss. You cure up. Duke. 
But she just ran to the bathroom real quick. Oh, okay. She's back. I'm right here. Your turn. Killed it. I killed it? Yeah. Okay. They're just grabs. They're easy to murder. And Kresk. All right. Uh, the dice is on there. Uh, I guess I'm going to hit this one first. Yeah. Yep, it's dead. Okay, then I hit the second one. And it's dead. All right. And uh, can I finish looting the angel corpse that I cut out? Uh, sure. It's uh, an ancient angel corpse. Does it have it? Nope. It's naked. Oh, all right. Is there anything on the grubs? No. Do the other angel corpses in the room look naked? Yes. So they're fair. Fairly certain that they're removed with them. Or stripped. That's uh, a fair point. Alright, uh. No, no, no. It kind of looks like we should probably continue moving up. Yep. Do we want to group up a little a hair more, maybe? It's just two of the toes? We did last time anyway. Alright. Damn. Listen, Duke's gonna go with Krask again. Yes. Ryan's gonna go with us again. Alright, so you guys are gonna end up over. Yes. Oops. There, and you guys are going to end up here. I don't like this close proximity. And more initiative. Initiative. Risk is starting us off. Risk moves into the center because he does not care. Mm. All right. Brings the echo through here, and uh, Crusk is gonna slam on this one. I'm uh, using the, the third unleash. This one. Yeah. Uh, everything hits. Alright. And... There's a 1d6. To reroll that first damage die. So it's a one more damage. dead. Alright. 
uh, I think that ends my turn. Rhea is going to take some swigs. And she's going to action search. Yeah, and do it again. Style. <laughs> and a uh, miss and a hit. Alright. Forty-five damage. Holy shit. Uh. Mm, yeah. Forty-five damage. Almost as much as Chris can. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna attack Krusk in the back. I mean, you were facing north to get the attack, so... Don't you think you would have faced at the end of his turn with the others? No. I'm pretty sure Krusk would not hold his back to someone after he killed his so... Um, I mean, it doesn't hit you anyway, so... It's now Ryder's turn. I'm going to hit the one in front of And you've killed it. Ya yeah, boy. Jesus Christ. Y'all can do all the work for me. That'd be great. <laughs> That's a good confusion cast. I know. It was pretty nice. Uh, does Ryder want to move? It'll be dead before the turn gets back to me, but that's fine. Uh, <clears throat> maybe. Maybe not. Duke, you're up. Went with two dagger attacks? I didn't mean to, but I've already clicked it. Okay. okay. Uh, 10 plus 26, so 36. And I'm almost up to full health. And then it's phase turn. takes 12 damage. Yay. Side step. But that's it. Alright, Chris, you're back up. Alright, uh, double slam. Hit, 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 hit. That's forty five. That yeah, kills it. Basically, but... yeah. yep. All right, you guys have cleared out the hell wasp nest. So, uh, we cut Lulu free? Yep. Do we see any angels living? Uh, no. But when we came up, we saw some live. They were on the outside. There's no way to them easily. Well, you have to climb along the outside. 
spell. No, not very easily. Does this get higher or no? Nope, this is the top layer. Is Lulu okay? Uh, she manages to, after getting cut out, she's flying around just now to triumphant little a toot toot toot. think we should uh try to get the angels on the outside sure i can climb up and try and kill them oh duke does it look like it's climbable can i like send my echo to like see if i can climb first uh do you have any climbing gear oh uh i'm gonna take this i have, a, no. I have a, a rope uh, no. Uh, you don't think you could climb it? Can I, like, patrol around the area and see if there's any way possible to be, like, sending the Echo down to get at least one of the angels that look like they're alive? Unlikely. I climb it with your clat, your clat, your cat, cat claws. claws. Yeah. Uh, yeah. you could no try, but you know you risk falling over a hundred feet if you fail. Could be a catastrophe. Would most likely mean death. We could tie a rope on Duke. Hold it so he doesn't fall. Hey, he said it's a hundred feet down, like a fifty foot of rope. Um, I have. Where is it? I have additional fifty foot of rope. Does it look like the? And you know sailor knots. an image in our little discord here so you guys can understand what you're looking at oh that image is too powerful take a sniff of the image yeah let's do that Duke and all of us hold on. Or at least Ryder and Krusk. Yeah, I think it's worth trying to save at least one of the angels that look like they're alive. Probably a good idea to save angels, yes. I'll hand over my rope to Krusk so he can tie them together with his expert nodding skills. I feel like the 50 foot should be I mean, it's 100 feet, right? And we're at the top. 100 feet up. We're 100 feet up, but how far up is the... From, from the ground to the hive? How tall is the hive, basically? More than 50 feet? Like... 
Let me just do some little measurement in the game here. Transfer that knowledge to what else they're saying here. Uh, so the hive's about 200 feet tall. Okay. Yeah, so we, uh, we, we tie the ribs together. You need me to roll anything? How far down is the nearest living angel? Uh, it's on the side about 100 feet up. So halfway down, so we definitely need 100 feet right. Need me to roll anything? For a, a sailor's knot, you know? No. Alright, so, uh, Duke, you ready? Tied around Duke. Yeah! Tied around Duke in a, like, harness-style tie. And then, I guess, cut a hole in the wall? I could use fire, but I feel like that would burn the whole thing down. Yeah, could, could, could uh, we're on top? Can we see through, or is it, uh, actually a wall? It's like amber on the outside. Like too thick to cut? You could definitely like cut and smash your way through it. Alright, so we got a we got a, a nice sized doorway where we can actually like look down stand at least like three 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 aside, you know. So you guys want to just start freeing them? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, Duke, but yes. Using Duke to free them, yes. Just Duke starts like chipping away at the amber holding the angels in. Yep, it's just fun. We start singing in heavenly choir. Those are being freed. Um, you notice that the wasp nest kind of lurches a bit after you free one. Almost as if the angels are what's keeping it floating. Oh. <coughs> the first angel? Or did it take off? I like the go. Uh, did anybody else? So did anyone else notice that it was moving or just me? Uh, everyone else would have noticed the lurch, whether they recognized that it came from the angel being free of this unknown. next angel uh, and I ask him um, uh, which ones are the most important angels that are attached to this honeycomb uh, none of them are very important they're all pretty low tier angels 
Uh, I call down to them and say, uh, pretty sure the angels are keeping this thing up, so if I get them all out, we're going to die because it's going to collapse. So, uh, Do we hear that? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I... This is a conundrum. Did you say like the angels are They're sturdy? Lesser angels still. Yeah. Is the top of the hive like open? Uh, you guys have cut open a, a hatch at the top, but there wasn't an opening up there. I mean, technically, yeah, we could free them. And if we free enough, everybody just has one fly us out. Are we going to assume that they're going to be helpful? I mean, we should still save them. Helpful or not. I think our best option is to use one of the flying fishes, right? Then everybody can get to safety and then start flying, or do can start flying. Okay, um, I guess, uh, yell out to Duke to use his flying potion and we're gonna let the rope go slack as we make our way out. Untie himself so we can gather the rope back up and get out. Do you have one of the potions? Duke does. Okay. Uh, I guess Duke takes out the flying potion. Uh, he chugs it and sees if he can actually fly before untying the rope. You can fly. Okay, so he unties the rope, lets it go, and continues on to slowly take the angels out and hope that his... Uh, we yell at Duke to let us get to the ground. Well, he's gonna go to the next one, like the next angel, and then stop at the next angel and wait for them to go. So we're all making our way to the ground. Yep. Now. We're all gonna. We, we gather our rope back up and make our way to the ground. Okay. Quickly. Lulu in tow, of course. I gotta put you guys here. We'll call you guys out of it for now. And then I'll yell out that we're safe. The Duke. And it's gonna continue. And uh, we'll, we'll start heading back to our rides, just in case this thing decides to splatter. Duke sees them coming down the rope and starts freeing angels haphazardly. 
Yep. Uh, after three, uh, three more, it starts to go down at a slow pace. He's actually going to go from the top and start working his way down. Okay. You have freed four. You can spot. Eight more. And you're gonna just continue until it crashes to the ground and kills whatever's left? Yep. Okay. Uh, you manage to get five more, um, but the bottom, the three that are closest to the bottom, uh, get buried under the Hell Wasp Nest as it crashes into the ground. Unfortunate, I did my best. Hopefully that made up for the unicorn. It did it, he's still crying. <laughs> Can we time how long this flying potion lasts? Or do we have a good Yeah, if, if it's not done by the time he's done, he's gonna continue to hover until it's done. Okay. It's not done by the time the lost nest crashes to the ground. How long would it take? For, for the thing, no, for the thing to crash to the ground. Uh took you like twenty minutes to free eight of them. Uh, and the potion will last for one hour total. Good to know. <clears throat> so I guess we've untied our ropes and they're just chilling, eating maybe. Get some rations to myself and Grey Wing. Um, Duke, roll me a perception. Okay. Um, you notice the glint of a helmet in the debris. He's gonna go inside. It, uh, is a rather plain uh, helmet, except on the forehead. There's like a third eye etched into it. Oh, this is pretty. He takes it. All right. He's going to start inspecting it see if there's anything like besides the eye that he can see just looking at it uh nothing physical to find hey look guys i found this cool helmet pretty nifty looking can we tell what it does at all uh, only through attunement when you find out what it does. What kind of helmet is it? Plate? Yes. Uh, it's a metal helmet. Crosscord heads towards helmet, so. Ryder or Rhea need helmet? They have their standard helmets. It's a standard helmet? No, they have their standard helmets that come with their armor sets. Oh, okay. Um, 
Um, Real motions for Ryder to take it. Third eye freaker out. Maybe it'll keep him from. He ran to the bathroom, but he said he took it. Okay. <laughs> Onward to merchants. I guess while they are all driving, I want to ex inspect this empty vial now. Okay. What do I need to roll? Uh, an uh, arcana. It's okay. Okay, you realize it is a plus three blowwell vial. Yeah, here I'll just give you a little link. <clears throat> yeah, that crux suggests we go southeast. Slowly takes the lead, but not very fast. I yell. If they want to go a different direction, take lead and he will fall. I'm way too focused on this. I'm gonna bite my finger. <laughs> With my thing and put a few drops in it and close it. Oh, yeah. Duke's still depressed. a little joke. Are those okay? Where are we going, Crest? Sorry, I don't know. We're waiting on uh, what we got going on here, you know? All right? So, uh, you drive into a valley, and inside of the valley is a field with hundreds of demon heads on tall pikes set in orderly rows. The landscape shows signs of a past battle between infernal and demonic forces. My mouth immediately goes dry. Besides the demon heads. Uh, roll a perception check. Can we all, or just cross? Uh, anyone, sure. Perception? Deuce to depressed, he notices nothing. Perception. A little bit perceptive. Uh, Crest, you notice a pack laying in the, on the path in front of you. Pick up the pack and inspect it. You know, let's check it out. Okay. Uh, you the pack contains the potion of healing and a soul coin. Potion of healing and a soul coin. I hold the potion of healing and pass the soul coin to 
to the quartermaster and I let him know that I got a potion of healing. Okay. It is a stream of blood. Does it look past? How, yes, how... you could easily pass. So, uh, continue on southeast? That would be the direction that we need to head, so yeah, that works. Continue on southeast. There are substantial pools of demon ichor strewn along this area. Right. So we're definitely going to refill all the vehicles. All the vehicles are just all the ones that we're driving. Might as well get them all, right? I mean, it makes sense that way if we run out of fuel, we can just switch. But we're also selling some of these vehicles. Exactly. Full right, so with a full tank, that's even more. Out. Okay. So, how many vehicles are you filling up? How many do we have? Like 10? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? We're filling the ones we're using first and then continuing on the rest. We don't need more people's eyes glowing. Okay, they weren't supposed to glow. Um... <laughs> I would do anything to get some wings though, that would be fun. Is everything filled or did we run out before we got everything filled? Uh, no, well fueling, uh, uh, creature forms in the Iker pool. Boy. I need to figure out which map the thing I'm looking for is on, actually. Uh oh, random encounter. One of the clevers. Thought I had one. You guys had fought this thing before. Did we? Yeah, I think it was the thing that tried to kill uh, Krusk and Corwin in the thing where they went underwater. 
Oh. Uh. But Once I'm about a week. missing the token, so give me a second. So blind. So it has a lot of hits. Yeah, you're welcome. I hope I GM rolled that. I did not. I'll have to re-roll it. <laughs> now there's going to be like triple the hit points. Over. We're using the top right section of this map. Cool. Oh, how long does it take to attune to that? Uh, like two hours. So that every rest. session I can add it in. Uh, yeah. Rest? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Usually do it during short rests. Or long rests. I assume we're gonna rest after we sell everything. Most likely. So, you guys should roll initiative. Initiate the battle. That's not a good roll. Start us off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please note, standing in the pool is bad. I bet. Um. Fuck, what do I want to do? I want a witch bolt at the third level. Okay. No! <laughs> I'm gonna take a couple steps back then. Actually, uh, make some mild cover. Then it's Rhea's turn, and she will Sacred Flame. Get saved, unfortunately. I accidentally DM rolled it, whatever. Uh, no damage. Duke's up. Okay! Uh. Huh. 
Yeah, he's just kind of a little far away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jump into the screamer and scream. It's a hit. Ignoring uh, the product. I don't think you can sneak attack. Why not? I'm next to one of my comrades. The comrade has to be next to the enemy. Do they? Yes. You're thinking pack tactics. Oh god, what are you gonna do, Krusk? I'm curious. Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh. Alright, is it out of the goo? No, it's very visibly in it. Is the top half of it out, at least? Yes, it is visible. Alright, I let the echo fall off, I use bonus action, put the echo on its back, and double swing. Is that possible? Sure. Alright. Second swing should be coming. I clicked it twice. Maybe not. Here it goes. Nope. Uh, the second one is a miss. And we will we'll give you a 1d6 for damage from die. It's another one. Okay. 15 damage. And that was my bonus action as well. So. The reason. All right. Uh, Ryder. I'm gonna throw a shock javelin. That's a hit. AC. Oh, 11 damage. No. It's my turn. Uh, so what it's gonna do, right, is it's gonna step here, and it's gonna fucking... So it has four arms. So it's gonna do a pincer attack on Crusk, a pincer attack on Duke, and it's gonna try and punch Ryder with its lands. Alright, that's it all. I might. This is bullshit! Alright, so. Krusk. So, it's 21 to hit. Yeah, just barely. Alright, so you are. Pincered. Um. And you are also now grappled. Uh, I'm just gonna. Keep going for the hits. Uh, Duke is hit and grappled. And I, what's Ryder's AC? Twenty-ish. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right, no hits on Ryder. Uh, so, answer damage is two D ten plus five. Uh, so Crest takes 14, uh, and Duke takes 10, which is probably going to tell me means 5. Yeah, I'm getting dead. Alright. <laughs> and you're both grappled. So, on your turns, you can... At the end of your turns, I believe you can make an escape DC of, or how does that work? Escape grapple. I mean, crossing swaps. Okay. 
but I can't move. You have to use your action to escape the grapple. I have to use an action to swap places? It's a bonus no. action ability. As, as a normal person, you have to use an action to attempt to break out of the grapple. You can just swap places, obviously. But I wouldn't want to, because now I can hit it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh... Uh, the grappled condition, the creature's speed becomes zero. And it cannot benefit from any bonuses to its speed. Okay. I thought there was, like, bonuses. Okay. Uh, now it's Faye's turn. It saves. Biscuits. I'm not very useful today. Okay. Oh, can. Sure, we'll just get her scooch in there. She can, she can hop in the screen where it's screaming at the fuck, too. Yeah, but she wants to fucking cut it. Because she does. We're in hell. We're allowed to go on a murderous rampage. It's fine. Just <laughs> cut the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Duke, you're up. I'm just gonna stab it now that it has me. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Uh, 16 plus 28. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why my brain can't comprehend. Wait, hold on. You said 16? 19 plus 19. Because the three radiant. That's, oh, that's from the it's not undead. Oh. It's, it's, a, it's a crab story. 44 damage. It's a legit hit. I don't have where my uh, sunlight is. You don't have what? I don't have the information for the sunblade. I don't know what I've done with it. Thank you. And a heal for six. Yep. I'm back to full health. <laughs> I, I've made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chris, you're up. Alright, so uh, Chris swaps places with the Echo, of course. So the Echo is now grappled, and Krusk is now hanging on its back. And Krusk is gonna beat the hell out of it. And the homunculus is going to bite. No, it's not. It's you want a d20 for the homunculus? No, I don't care about the homunculus. 
Doesn't yeah, yours but, have daggers? Yeah, but the bite's so much better because of the poison. It has a chance to poison. Twenty percent. Can crust cop down to the ground, or is that something I have? To use an uh, you will provoke an attack of opportunity if you want to do well, that. I only want to hop down right there. I'd be still in range. I'm gonna stick to my guns. All right. Well, Krusk is <sighs> gonna stay there and ready if the thing falls to hop down. Yeah. All right. Uh, my turn. Okay, Ryder, you're up. I'm a whack a mole. Whack a mole. Let's go. Uh, hit and hit. Sweet. So that's 24. How's the thing living? And that is the okay. end of my turn. Um, fun time. <laughs> uh, it's gonna cast fly on itself. Oh. Here. Duke, you're in my grasp. <laughs> Rusk is on its back. <laughs> oh, God. Uh,. It flies 40 feet up. It provokes tax of opportunity from Ray and Ryder. They both hit. For a lot. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it dies before it gets anywhere. What? We don't fall, right? It didn't get off the ground. <laughs> so it's a it off the ground. Does leap to the ground like he was ready to? Uh, yeah. I should say no because you attacked on that turn. Superhero landing! Superhero landing! But, oh, that's black. You did not ask. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just telling you I'm being a very kind person. <laughs> not letting you fall into the nasty anchor. Is there any way we can loot the corpse or is it just fully in the stuff? It's fully in the stuff. There was nothing on it anyway, it was just a demon. Sorry. But we finished filling our rides. Like nothing's happened. <laughs> I'm a little ashamed that I was so useless. I'm sorry. Just gonna kinda sit dejectedly in the vehicle. Right, so you guys managed to fill up all of your rides without further interruption. Can we see right. the city in the distance or is it way too far? You, it's way too far. You can technically see the adjacent hexes only. So that's the city. If you could see the flying city, yes. Yeah, that's what I was meaning. That's what you meant? Yeah, you could see that. But you meant Fort Knucklebones. Nope. Do we see the flying city? Yes, yes. you see the flying city. It's, uh, it appears to be much closer to the ground than you remember. That's odd. So there's like slack in the chains from what we can tell? Uh, nope. There's no slack in the chains. They seem to have got shorter. Huh. Is 
that As if the city is being pulled down. It's very worrisome. I need to find the soul sand. Or whatever the sand is, the black sand. What's their plan? Where are you guys still? We need to go to Fort Knucklebones. Was there any other bridges or anything across Didn't the river? Recall that one to the south? So I guess we go to the bridge to the south. Anybody object? Nope. We nope. Head to the bridge. So in the bridge, you see the bar reliefs along the bridge depicting various uh, events. Would you like to stop and look at them this time? Um, depicting what? Uh, different events. Sure. Do we want to? Can we? Sure. Can, can we look? Uh, you appear to start at the end of the tale. There you see Zariel being crowned by Asmodeus. And there's a an inscription that only Duke can read. Would Duke like to tell everyone what it says? He's going to read it first. I just text it to you so you can tell them. Should I say it out loud? Just say it out loud. Okay. Uh, all hail the Archduchess of Avernus. May she rule eternal at the left hand of the Archfiend. It says, bitch be evil. <laughs> he actually says what it says. Moving on to the next image, you guys see Zariel on the front lines of a titanic battle between devils and strange creatures which seem neither demon nor devil. Uh, would you guys like to roll an arcana check to see if you can recognize what they are? Yes, please. Look at there, a dirty 20. Well, I got 12 twice, even though I didn't mean to hit it. Uh, they recognized them as Batorians, which are the actual true denizens, the natives of Avernus. I will recant or provide that information. And there's another inscription here. Duke reads, In glory did she triumph, where false bell failed, in the name of the Lord of Nessus. I feel like we should start from the beginning and work our way down. You guys like to restart from the beginning? Do it! Do it! Let's do it! Okay. I guess. We can uh, turn back around. To the beginning of the story, Zariel is depicted uh, oddly in her fiendish form in the midst of a lush, verdant paradise. The inscription, She served in the armies of the Lord of the Nine in the younger days, when Avernus had not yet become the Ninth. Would anyone like to roll a history check to try and deduct what the fuck that means? Yeah. I'll take that. 
Uh, you recall reading a book that said that uh, the Archfiend Asmodeus uh, defected from the heavens to create the devils to fight the demon kind. And before he did that, Avernus was a lush, verdant paradise. Completely unlike the hell it is now. This place used to have life. Crazy. Um, and the next, the second in chronological order, relief, shows Zariel, again in her fiendish form, depicted upon a golden mammoth along with a human knight and five devils. Their names are listed in infernal cartouches. Uh, it names it Zariel upon Lulu, Yale, and the names of the devils are given as Zelanen, Tazroman, Brulmerath, and Zilka, as well as Venthroxoth. Uh, in memory, the, the inscription reads, in memory of her comrades lost over the long eons of struggle. I look at Lulu to see if she remembers a little bit more, maybe. I think Yale gave me the sword. <laughs> anyway, the third relief. Zariel is depicted kneeling before Asmodeus, her wings aflame as her impurities are burnt away. The inscription, at the feet of the archfiend, her heart was opened to the truth, and she ascended to the ranks of the esteemed. The fourth inscription, or bas relief, sorry. Uh, Zariel is depicted in chains. Above her are the five heads of Tiamat. The inscription At the false word of the coward Bell, he was sealed in the prisons of the progenitor. Uh, feel free to roll a history check to figure out what the progenitor is. All right. Uh, one of Tiamat's titles is the progenitor of hell. This is a lot. And you're back at where you decided to turn around, where Zariel is fighting the Batorians. All right. Preceded by her crowning by Asmodeus. I was only able to pay attention to part of that, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you guys got it. That's a very crust like thing to do. Yes. <laughs> it will be saved in mods, so it's fine. And that's all the bar reliefs on the bridge. See if we can buy the sand, basically. Here, which one's this? H. Uh, this is where you guys got your first set of astral pistons. The Fort Knuckle Bones. Been a while. Now. 
greeted by the red caps. They give you the regular feel of how to get in, but you just kind of blow them off and walk in anyway. Uh, you are greeted by the familiar sights of multiple bands of gangs visiting the outposts, the hustle and bustle of the tink shed, the yelling and blatant lying of merchants at the bazaar. Should we try to sell our vehicles at the Tink Shed or the Bazaar? They start at the Tink Shed, I guess. Hey, let's do that. Are you by the Kenku working the Tink Shed? I go, need fix! Need sell? Need, need sell. We can try broker, but might want to try bargain with gang warlords for faster sale. All right. So, uh, are they in the market area, or yeah, he finds like them in the the general bazaar area and stuff. All right. So let's head to the market area then. Unless you guys object. Nope. Nope. Holy we God. head to the market area. You, um, there is a large werebore trying to, uh, to wave you down. Alright, so we go to the werebore. This does, I'm assuming. I'll follow suit. Uh, Putting on a brave face. I'm I'm a warlord of Rungabunga. All I heard was static. Yes. I, uh, my gang, we got decimated. All right. By that, uh, that legion bastard. But, you know, I see you guys. You got your small gang, but you got a lot of rides. So I've been wondering if you want to sell them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it depends uh, on how much you're willing to buy them. We're willing to part with a few of our rides. We really like them. We're pretty fond of them. Yeah, so, like, my deal is I can give you one soul coin for the devil rides. I'll give you three soul kinds per tormentor and eight soul coins if you want to get rid of that scavenger I see you got. That's uh, pretty cheap of you. I think that's pretty decent market price. Nah, yeah, because they're actually already filled and everything, too. Yeah, but see, I want to buy them. And the other warlords, <laughs> they're more likely to take them. They can try. We took them on our own. You don't think that we could take them from them? So, let's talk real numbers, please. Otherwise, take your business elsewhere. I mean, I could throw in some chits, but, like, them's the market price. Then go market them somewhere else. I mean, I could, 
I got an engineer here, so like if one of your rides ever breaks down, he could fix it on the go with you, and you just bring us all your rides when you get done with them. Be a exclusive market partner. Oh. You're saying you're gonna give us your engineer? Yeah, he can come with you guys as long as you know you don't need him to like fight unless it's to save his skin in the last in a desperate situation. Can he man a gun at the very least? Yeah, I guess he could do that. If you guys are like on the run kind of thing. We're not gonna really run that much. Or if you're like chasing someone down on the go. Really, what I'm trying to say is he's gonna stick with the rides. Tim, how can we trust a guy to not just take off at the first convenience of him being with the rides? I mean, we could get a devil to sign a contract if that's what you need. Having a devil contract. Uh, do you mind if we just get back to you here soon? We're gonna shop around a little bit if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. My gang, we're all wear beasts, so you know, if you want, one of you want to experiment in the wear category. We got a variety. The wear category. Okay. Yeah, we got we got wear boar. We got wear tiger. We got wear shark. He doesn't usually go shark here because it's a little dry for him. What do you mean by experiment? Well, I mean you wanted to try out the lycanthropy. We have you a wear house cat, you know. It's down in hell here. Since there's no moon, you can always be your better self. What were the options again? Where we got wear tiger, wear boar, wear shark. Heck, we even got a wear bear. Oh man! So how many would you let us become wares? I mean, like as many as you want, really. I see you're pretty affiliated with a god, and they don't really shine on that. But I'm not. I want you to wear shark. <laughs> <laughs> so you would never use it. <laughs> that seems like a lot. Can I roll a history check to see if I remember reading anything about wear creatures? Uh, and like I mean, effects and drawbacks. Uh, I mean, there's like, if you're not aware of the change, like usually the first time you go out of control. Um, but the more you have, more you're in control of the state, the more control you have over the transformation. So based on that information, you would guess that this is probably the safest place to learn how to control your lycanthropy. So we we ask him if it's okay if uh, we hold this offer and we uh, check out at least one of the one or two of the other warlords. Well, okay, so I kind of want to be a were shark <laughs> in the middle of the desert. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I can be a like, sand shark. You seem more like a duck type of person. <laughs> more like a were duck. Yeah, I kind of want to be a wear shark. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> All right, so uh, Mr. Ryder's uh, wanting this deal. Is anybody else, or do we want to check I'm out the other offers? But I'm willing to go around and like haggle. Ryder, I think we should at least check out our other offers. Do you disagree? I mean, we can if you want, but I'm, I'm, I'm minimum. I'm say I'm gonna be a wear bear. Yeah. 
don't think Torrent would like that, but uh... Alright, is there... Do we look around, uh... Is, uh, is Duke on board for this, or is he wanting to sell immediately? Uh, Duke didn't understand that it was talking about becoming a wear thing. He thought it was for other reasons. Oh. Okay. We, we try to explain the Duke? No, Duke understands now, and he's already uh -huh. like, Okay, we can could, we could shop around. Can we, uh... Can we find anybody else that's willing to buy vehicles? Warlords or whatever? Uh, there's, like, other gangs, but they aren't willing to buy your entire stock and usually trying to undercut you more than the wear guy is. Alright, so after shopping around, we go back to the wear guy and, uh... Krusk is not interested in becoming a wear thing, but, uh... Yeah. I really hate to say it, but I am. Faye, the most innocent one. Gone through the most changes. I I also asked them if uh, Faye is far from innocent, but I, I know. <laughs> I asked so them what they uh, would be able to offer for somebody that's a follower of Torm to really seal the deal, you know? Because we're offering a fair amount of rides. He uh, kind of scratches his head for a little bit. And he goes, I know just the thing. I have information on a secret temple of Torm down in hell. Alright. I wonder if it's the one we've been to. The one you've been to? That we couldn't open the doors. Oh. What's your prayer in Torm there? That doesn't seem to help sometimes. Most yeah, times. Yeah, but, but it's alright. <laughs> All right, so uh, the information's added into the deal then. Yeah, yeah. All right, is everybody? Uh... And what was the where? Krusk wants the information out of the deal. Any of the gold is to our quartermaster for negotiation, and uh, the where options go to the other ones that are. Mm -hmm. My werewolf now. Krusk <laughs> kind of steps away for a minute. No, I'll be right back. Pretty much like. Your options are like bear, wolf, boar, shark, rat, tiger. Tiger. Any other wear shapes that it. Those are the ones we got. I'm very interested in wear tiger. You're a dragon. I know. Is there wear dragons? <laughs> I, I, I highly doubt it. <laughs> Damn, I was so hopeful. Oh fuck, there are. What the fuck? <gasps> yes! But they're not. They're definitely not in this group. No. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> you did this to yourself. <laughs> Here's the thing though, right? You like it's like a dragonborn, but they have a more dangerous bite and claw attack. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> Never mind. What's the wear tiger do? Uh leaps. Just leaps? That's like what? the big bonus of the wear tiger. What's the wear bear? Uh keen smell. Plus bonus. bonus to strength. And the shark? Uh, blood frenzy. Oh god. What's that one do? Uh, you gain advantage on targets that have less than half health. Uh, if you get less than half health, you have to roll a charisma save or go berserk. Okay. And the werewolf one? Uh, werewolf. Uh, keen hearing and smell, as well as bite and claw attacks. Yeah, I'll take the bear. Uh, 
Kreska's back and kind of just listening. Our friend White Ryder is going to be a werebear. He mentions to Duke to negotiate the best price possible. I think we're already going to get it. I'm going to... And, uh, what do we want to keep is as well? So... I would think one scavenger and one screamer at the very least. Screamer? You mean tormentor? Yeah, the screamer tormentor. And then maybe two double rides. That sounds good. Reason we need the scavenger? Is there a reason to not stay in beast form or in hybrid form? Yeah. No. So you can just be a bear? You can just So all lycanthropy has the three shapes. There's the human, the hybrid, and the beast form. Right? So like the hybrid form is essentially just like you become big and get like a bear head. Okay. And you get way furrier. Whereas the bear form is you just you become a fucking bear. I would assume your armor belts. And I can just stay like that? Yeah. As long as, so because you're in hell and there's no lunar cycles down here. You can stay you can choose whichever form you want to be in at any time. But that as will soon as you leave, that in the case when you return to the material plane. I like that. Gives you a little bit more of an edge in your battles. Uh, your engineer is uh, Rufus the what with the wear rat. Rufus the wear rat. That's way too perfect. <laughs> Is he naked? No, he's definitely wearing pants and a shirt. So is it like druids when they meld into their forms, or do they actually like lose their clothes? Um and armor. It's not like druids. So right they will rip through their clothes. Beautiful. Um but you know it's mad he's wearing magical armor, so it will fucking morph with him. Okay. Because that's innate. That's just how magic armor works. It always fits. So does that... the rides work, though? Two double rides, one screamer, tormentor, and a scavenger for us? Uh, what is... so what are you guys getting rid of? Right. That's what I was trying to... We definitely don't need seven double rides, guys. Kresk wants to just drive a double ride again. Just stay in it. Or it either drive or ride a double ride. He likes being more free than the scavenger or tormentor. And then he mentions a horse or a unicorn would have been a cooler ride. for the follow. So, so I'm just trying to figure out what, how many rides you guys want to keep. Are we in agreement for two double rides to keep? 
Yeah, because I think Duke wants to keep his double red. Okay. Do you want to keep two screamers or a screamer and a scavenger? Or a harpoon and a screamer? I don't know. What's the scavenger doing again? Has Let's... a big old freaking thing on the back that swings and smashes stuff. Got a wrecking ball. Yeah. And then doesn't it have like stuff on the Can we front? can we affix our screamer to the scavenger? Just keep the scavenger and the two double What? Yeah, the the screamer's a weapon, not an actual ride. The screamer oh yeah. So the screamer's a weapon, not an actual ride. We Can we somehow affix our screamer to the scavenger and have it be able to scream or wrecking ball and sell the uh, two other uh, the tormentors? So the scavenger is, comes equipped with two harpoon flingers. We have one with a screamer, right? That's a tormentor. Oh, the scavenger has two harpoon flingers. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, well, sorry, you guys actually have a demon ball. You guys have a demon grinder, not a scavenger. My bad. Oh. A demon grinder. Yeah. Thank you. He didn't even tell us how much demon grinders worth. You're worth ten. Ten zork ones? Yeah. So maybe keep a... How many people does it ride, though? It fits eight. And what's it do? It has the wrecking ball and what? It has the a chomper on the front, uh, a wrecking ball on the back, and two harpoon flingers. Hold this. And can we reaffix one of the harpoon flingers to be a screamer? You could. So can we take our screamer off and put a put it on the harpoon flinger and sell our tormentors and keep this keep the demon grinder are you trying to say you want two devils right in the scavenger or yeah. not a scavenger fucking grinder yeah yeah I fucked that up a long time ago and, th- and that'll fit our whole party right because mm-hmm. I don't think we need a tormentor and a scavenger I think we just need the scavenger because it's so much better the devil ripper or devil ripper yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the grinder. The grinder. Rip, grind, so, same difference. You guys are going to essentially. Rider? Five Duke rides. And Rhea. Does that sound like the plan? Two double rides? And then the deep yeah. rider. Yep, that works. Yeah, Duke's fine with it. Rider. Yeah. Rider? The, the, the grinder will have one screamer and one harpoon flinger. Yeah. We'll sell the tormentors with harpoons. You have two screamers of tormentors. So you could have a demon grinder with two screamers. Mm. Do we want that? I don't know. I think having one harpoon is a good option. All right. So five rides and three tormentors is. 14 soul coins. Okay. Is it one soul coin like a thousand gold or am I tripping? Yes. Alright, so. Does that sound good to you, Quartermaster Duke? I think that's fine. We'd have 45 soul coins then. Well, that means it shouldn't have. He's saying it quietly to everybody. He ain't gonna tell everybody and, in the uh, whole world how much. And I ask the bear bears if they know anywhere to find obsidian sand, and we'll seal the deal. Or the wear things. He has already sealed the deal. Let's be honest. All right, so the deal's sealed. And uh, as we seal the deal, I ask if we can find if they know where to find obsidian sand. Really want to talk to them. Information the... about Torn. Uh. Probably want to talk to the Necromancer Warlord. Alright. Torment. 
Torm information? You said you knew about a temple of Torm in hell? Yeah, so there was this, uh, this evil lord a while ago. Rides. Uh, so there was this evil lord a while ago who, uh, traded his virility for wealth. And when he had no hairs, they pulled his entire castle down into hell. But his, um, his father built a temple to torment the, the under barracks. And the castle is now in the north uh, mountains of hell, of Avernus. You don't guarded. see Alterial, do you? I don't know. No, 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 no. All right. Not the city. It's just a, just a castle. So the northern side, northeastern or western? Like north central ish. Central. All right, so we uh, we add another stop to our list, right, guys? Yep. Looking uh, real excited. <laughs> we had some other stuff to saw about, we did. And uh, yeah. Well, Chris is gonna go look and see if he can sell this unicorn horn at the same time. <laughs> He's gonna try to find a buyer for it. However, you want to do that. You're gonna sell it. I'll take it. <laughs> um. Okay. Do you guys, since shopping is kind of a dull thing to do, yeah, in session, uh, do you guys want to call it there and just? Do your shopping and DMs with me over the course of the next two weeks. Yeah, we can that do that. Good. That's totally fine. And then find a resting place, I'm assuming, so that we can rest yeah, you as well. We'll call that the session there. Okay. All right. We'll do that. It's totally cool. So, just since there's On a five side, of you, that's like nine coins some, each. Uh, uh, can Can Kreskin Duke do some uh, thefty stuff as well? He's an Echo and uh, Duke stealthiness during the two week break. Uh, no, we'll save we'll save that for in session. All right. All right. Heist um, stuff that's in game. All right. So uh, <laughs> we're definitely gonna brew that because uh, I feel like an Echo Knight's really good at helping a DB thing or DB character steal. So. Um, so since we're at 45 soul coins, that's like a value of nine coins each. Unless Dukes wants to be a, you know, a Duke. Nah, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I also have a shit ton of chits. I need to get rid of some stuff and uh, maybe buy some stuff. I don't know. Alright. I will end our session. Alrighty, friends. That's it for this week. We'll see you next All time. Right. Have a great one. How many chits equal a cell phone?